So reflexes are automatic unconscious responses. So not like in this picture where he clearly is kicking the person on purpose. Reflexes are things that happen without our conscious control. So not autonomic necessarily, but automatic. Meaning our conscious brain does not have to be involved, it is not involved in just their simple action. So one um, example is the knee jerk reflex, which is kind of shown here. Again, he's actually kicking. When you go to the doctor, you are not supposed to kick on purpose, right? If you're doing that, you should stop because they're trying to test um, your spinal segments and nerves that are involved in, in that kick happening automatically. Okay, let's start with some different categories of reflexes um, before seeing some specific examples. So to start with categories, um, categories can be either somatic or autonomic. They're all, all automatic, but this is whether they are, you should know what this means, right? Either controlling skeletal muscle or controlling um, other glands. Some of the somatosensory stimuli would be different for these as well, but primarily it's simplest to think about um, controlling skeletal muscle, our somatic nervous system, versus controlling, man, I can't draw a seat, there we go, glands, smooth muscle, cardiac muscle. Three big ones. We will focus on autonomic, um, somatic this week, and see more autonomic when we get to the autonomic nervous system. Okay. Um, next category is monosynaptic versus polysynaptic. This is how many synapses it has. Right, mono means one synapse, more than one. So monosynaptic is just going to involve a sensory neuron and a motor neuron. Those two neurons connect to at one synapse. Polysynaptic are going to also involve interneurons within the nervous system, the central nervous system where the processing occurs. Um, the central nervous system, wh where is that? That can either be the spinal cord so a spinal reflex, or it can be cranial. So that would be within the spinal cord or within a cranial nucleus. And we'll see more examples of spinal cord, um, especially this week. We'll do a couple of cranial reflexes when we get to the autonomic nervous system. Okay, um, I'll do one more. Um, reflexes can either just control the same side or they can go to the other side of the body. They can do both. So same side, so stretch reflexes, like the knee jerk, the kick is on the leg that has been hit, only involving ipsilateral neurons. Contralateral is the opposite side. So for some reflexes, we're going to involve the other side of the body in that automatic response. Um, we will see this get more when we get to the autonomic nervous system. There are examples of this with somatic nervous system. For example, when you step on a, um, a nail and the other side of your body, body responds for your, when your weight shifts to get off of that nail. That would be an example of a contralateral somatic reflex. 
Okay, let's see some examples of these general categories. So this is not showing all of them, but this first one here, monosynaptic. Monosynaptic refers to that one synapse. It's somatic. We are controlling skeletal muscle. That's our target. Um, a couple of things I did not, don't have on this title. Um, this is a spinal reflex, right? Because our integrator is the spinal cord. Um, it is also ipsilateral, right? So it's only, um, the, the information is not traveling to the other side of the spinal cord to control the other side of the body. It is controlling the same side. Okay, here is one more, looks very similar. Only difference is there is an interneuron in the spinal cord. So that means it's polysynaptic. Two synapses because of this interneuron. Yeah, otherwise it is still somatic, still ipsilateral, still a spinal reflex.